all right people welcome once again and today I think I should be doing this video because um, I found out that most of the videos online weren't actually working yes and why we're doing this video is um, if you want to set up a Laravel environment yes you don't want to be entering IP addresses and you want to be entering something like uh, me.com me.test yeah stuff like that try to get your URL very simple and make things easier now when much tutorials are found online they all weren't working because i needed my url to be like this because when i run i wanted it to be like this i didn't want to be typing localhost slash blah 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 and going through all this stuff i was having real difficulties i've actually stayed at this for a week all right so let's get to the fix so where do we start from well, we start from exam so you go to where you've installed your exam yes and in the exam you select an exam in exam you go to apache and in apache you go to config as in the config file you look for extra and in the extra you select on vhost yes now let's touch on some things here this is what we need to change over here now if you don't have anything here apart from this you can copy any one of these paste here you should note that you only need two things out of this that's document truth and, and the server name so you can leave the address like this but i chose to make mine like this it's still the same so once you get here now the document route where is the document route? so the document route is basically where your laravel project is going to reside so let's navigate to that to make things simpler so we just click on the exam here and to make things short go to hdocs and then this is my Laravel project and then and, and go to public and so once you're done you click here and notice one thing these ones are in the backslash yes these are all backslashes i noticed something here these are all forward slashes so after you copy and paste it here you have to make the slashes here for forward slashes not backslash and so once you finish having all these you're going to do a control s on windows and then you save so once you save this file the next and most important thing is to edit a file in windows that's the host file so without one unless you do with it with administrator rights it ain't going to work so we go to um, start and then we type notepad yes we right click on the notepad no oh, i sorry notepad. so we right click on the notepad run as administrator very very important if you don't do that you'll not be able to save the file so when you get here you do a control o yeah control o control open so you get to look how they see windows and in windows you look for system 32 yes and in system 32 we look for a folder called drivers yes and in drivers we go to etc like so now be careful guys don't use this text file it's not going to work i've tried that many times and it didn't work so no no when i had to go to all files so you have to go to all files and choose this the host the extension of the of it is file host dot file so after that you press on ok to open it now over here what you're going to do is you're just going to copy or you enter the ip address for localhost which is by default 127.0.0.1 and then you add your website or the url you want to choose but please notice that currently because of um, the evolution in the web google or chrome has made the http request very strict so if you're using something like dot com dot dev it's not going to work it's going to be throwing errors at you so it's best to save stay in the safe zone and use dot test it works because actually you're using it in a development environment not that much so you input your url over here and then you press ctrl s to save so once you're done you close it and then 
in the exam if your Apache is still running you step it and then you restart it again you wait for it to turn green to show that it has been started good, good to go and then you reload your page so let's see because I have my internet running so sometimes it gets a bit slow Oh guys, boom, yeah, so I just loaded, I think I had to load some dependencies from a CDN. All right, so we're done, so this is actually how to get the Laravel environment set on the exam. If this video was helpful and you liked it, please subscribe to the channel. I'll be sharing new tips on whatever I stumble upon over here. Ribbon Rings out.